Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on major and minor losses. In this video, we are going to find out what is the rate of flow through a pipe which is connected to a tank. So first, I will read what is the given problem. Determine the rate of flow of water through a pipe of diameter 20 cm and length 50 m. When one end of the pipe is connected to a tank and other end of pipe is open to atmosphere. The pipe is horizontal and the height of water in tank is 4 m above the center of the pipe. Consider all major and minor losses. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the diagram as per given data. Now here it is given that the pipe is connected to a water tank and the surface of water is at a height of 4 meter from the center of the pipe. So here we have to draw first here is the water tank and this height capital H is equal to 4 meter. Then the length of pipe is also given. So here is the length of pipe capital L is equal to 50 meter and the diameter of pipe that is small d is equal to 20 centimeter which is equal to 0.2 meter. And we have to find out what is the discharge or we can say rate of flow through this pipe. So how to find out this? So we know that rate of flow through this pipe that means area of this pipe multiplied by velocity v. So velocity v is in the direction of the flow of the water. So I will show here. Here the direction is towards the right hand direction and here is the velocity v. So I will say that q is equal to a into v. So first if we observe this diagram there is the water is flowing through this pipe and when it is flowing through this pipe the length of the pipe is 50 meter that means this is the considerable length and we have to take into consideration the losses due to friction or head loss due to friction. So friction coefficient of friction is also given f is equal to 0.009. So we have to use this and we have to find out what is the head loss due to friction. Now if we observe this entrance of the pipe is connected to a tank or water tank. Now when this entrance of the pipe is connected to a water tank then what what is happening here first the surface of water is at this considerable height of 4 meter and suddenly it is passing through this small diameter pipe that is 20 centimeter so again there is the loss of head because this water is passing through this small diameter pipe so loss of head at the entrance of the pipe that we have to consider because here this pipe or entrance of the pipe is getting attached to, to this water tank so this is this loss is similar to the loss of head due to contraction so what is the formula to loss of head at the entrance of the pipe? So we know that HI is equal to 0.5 V square by 2G. Now the outlet of the pipe is open to atmosphere and that is also given in the question. Now we will move for the calculations. So if we observe here the velocity V is unknown. So we will consider the velocity of water in the pipe is V meter per second. Now in pipe we will consider V and in tank the water is stationary and in pipe only the water is in motion or it is flowing. So here velocity in water, velocity of water in pipe is V meter per second. Now we will consider two sections. First section is at the free surface of water where water is stationary or water is not in motion or we can say water is in static position then here this is, here is the section 1 and at the outlet of pipe we will consider the section 2 so for this two section we will apply Bernoulli's equation so what is the Bernoulli's equation now we are going to consider the losses that is the loss of head due to friction and loss of head at the entrance of the pipe 
So Bernoulli's equation that we have to write that is P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 is equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2 plus all losses. So now if we put the value. Now what is P1 by rho g? That is the pressure head at section 1. So if we observe this surface of water is open to atmosphere. So when it is open to atmosphere, we have to take the pressure head 0. So P1 by rho g is 0. Then V1 square by 2g. So what is the V1? That is the velocity of water at section 1. It is also 0 because water is stationary in the tank. It is not moving. So V1 square by 2g is also 0 plus Z1. Now here we will consider one particular datum line. So we will consider here the datum line which is passing through the center of pipe. So I will say here datum line or this is also we can say reference line. So what is Z1? So distance from this free surface of water from this datum line is 4 meters. So we, can, we will say Z1 is equal to 4. Is equal to next P2 by rho g. Now at section 2 at the outlet of pipe it is also open to atmosphere. So P2 by rho g is 0. Then V2 square by 2g. V2 square by 2g that means the velocity at this section 2, we will say V2. But if we observe, velocity inside the pipe is equal to velocity at the outlet of pipe. Because velocity will remain same. So here, instead of V2, we can also say V, v square by 2G. So V2 square by 2G plus Z2. Now Z2, datum line at section 2. So here, datum line is the reference line is at section 2. We have to consider here, this is the line that is we will say zero and then all losses so all losses means what head loss due to friction plus head that head loss at the entrance of the pipe that is hi plus hf now when we solve this so if we observe here this 4 is equal to instead of we do we have to take v square by 2g plus hi plus hf now we will define this hi and hf so loss of head at the entrance h is 0 0.5 e square by 2g and h f 4 f l v square by 2 g d where f is known or it is given in the question so if we write this that is 4 is equal to v square by 2 g plus 0 0.5 e square by 2 g plus 4 f l by d and here is v square by 2 g so in each term v square by 2 g is common so i will take here common term now its a coefficient is 1 so i will write in the bracket 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 4 into 0 0.009 into 50 divided by 0 0.2 so we have to solve this bracket first so after solution it will become 10.5 v square by 2g is equal to 4 so 2g means 2 into 9.81 so when we solve this we will get v is equal to 2.734 meter per second that means we will get the velocity of the water inside the pipe and if we multiply it with area of the pipe that is how we can calculate area pi by 4 d square because pipe is having circular cross section that is pi by 4 into 0 0.2 square. Then we will get the discharge Q. So Q is equal to 0 0.08589 meter cube per second. So if we want to convert it into liter per second, we have to multiply it with 10 raised to 3. That is 85.89 liter per second and this is the answer.